In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we have the memory of St. Bernard. We pray that through his intercession, we may be illuminated to promote peace and love in the world. In order that we may celebrate this Mass worthily, let us call to mind our sins and so ask God for his mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God and a Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are a Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with a zeal for your house and a light shine and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. Say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God. Because you are haughty of heart, you say, a God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the seal. And yet, you are a man and not a god. However, you may think yourself like a god. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, therefore, thus says the Lord, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down into the pit there to die, a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a God, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a God, handed over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners, for I have spoken, says the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is, it is I, I who deal death and give life. I would have said I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories 
had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast. It is I who deal death and give life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it. For they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight, unless it was because their rock sold them and the Lord delivered them up? It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people on his servants. He shall give pity. It is I who deal death and give life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourself sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up homes, or brothers, or sisters, or father or mother, or children or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, 
and, uh, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Possessed by possessions, possessed by possessions. This morning, we celebrate the, the memory of Saint Bernard, a man who preached the peace and the unity, who looked at himself that he should spread the light and the peace of Christ among the people of his age. And so he decided to work towards this through Christ, whom he loved as an abbot. And today we hear the Lord Jesus reminding us of this younger person who has everything and who believes in what he possesses. And so in other words, we can say he is a man possessed by possessions, a man full of his pride. And equally is what we hear in the first reading, a king who is also possessed by his intelligence and by his riches, who does not trust in God, but finally, the prophet tells him, hey, you, don't trust in men, they are mortal. You are going to perish. And so it happens. Today, dear friends, through the gospel and the first reading, we may be having something that possesses us more than possessing Christ. You could be having something that you put first in your life and you are forgotten about God. Sometimes there is a danger of coming like to mass or saying our rosary and our prayers and yet there is something that obstructs us that we put first, that we possess, that we take as our riches and God comes second, and the Lord says it. Do not rely on your land. Do not rely on your family members. Do not put your trust in your children. Do not put your trust in your parents, in your friends. First, put your trust in Jesus. Put your trust in God and leave everything aside, take God first, and you will be rich. You will not get lost. Is the Lord reminding you of something that you have, you have taken first in your life? Something that is drawing you away from maybe listening to him? Is there something in your life that takes more of your time than with five minutes with the Lord in prayer as you walk along going to work or as you do your course in the house? Is there something that takes more of your time and very little time for Jesus? Could it be the screen, one of the greatest enemies we have in our hands today and in our pockets? are these cell phones, smartphones. They take more of our time, even for prayer, than with God. Something maybe the Lord asks of us to fast a bit, at least in a day. Say, ah, for one hour I want to put my cell phone a little bit aside of me. I want to concentrate on my relationship with God. It is not impossible. God tells us and Jesus tells us in the gospel, it is not impossible. 
we can do it. Let us not be possessed by possessions, but let us be possessed by Christ who gives life. Let us stand and present our petitions. We pray for our country, especially during this time of campaigns and politics, that the good Lord may fill our leaders with wisdom of depending on him for getting right leaders. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters possessed by possessions who do not see God, neither seeing the value in every human life, but who trust solely in their riches that they may be converted. We pray to the Lord. We pray for God's mercy for us who have heard his word and we continue not to spend our time and our possessions for announcing his kingdom that God may grant us his pardon. We pray to the Lord. We pray for each one of us present in this holy mass that the good Lord may grant each one of us our needs. We pray to the Lord. We pray for traveled families in their relationships that the good Lord may fill them with a new love for one another we pray to the Lord. We pray for Stephen Ninan, for whom this Mass is offered for his eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, listen graciously to the prayers of the family you have brought here this morning, that we may not be possessed by our possessions but we may be possessed by your word and life in you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to, you, to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace, as we celebrate the memory of the abbot Saint Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. There will be an on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the lamp of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you called to the supper of the Lamb. <clears throat> but only say what, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May the food we have received, O oh Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <clears throat>